Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, I'm with uh, Chris Nosalek with Electron Automotive in, what is this, Orange, right? Yeah. Orange, 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 California. Orange, California. Chris had done a, a, a video with uh, Chris Fix, right? Yeah. I saw Chris Fix's uh, video where he places the battery on a Prius. Yep. In, Second um, generation, 2004, 2009. Yeah, so I had seen that video, and uh, I'm actually in Riverside, which is 30 minutes from here. Uh, approached Chris and asked him if we could, you know, collaborate on a video together. And um, he said, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. So the major manufacturer for most of these batteries Panasonic. is Panasonic. Yep. Yeah, Tesla, from, from the Priuses to the Tesla. There are some other companies that have their hands in the game, but it's very few. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Are they all coming out of China or are they manufactured here in the States? I'm not sure of their exact production. I know Tesla obviously is doing it here in the States. They just built the Gigafactory. Um, but the other ones, I'm not too sure. Tesla is a factory for manufacturing uh, their batteries to bring the cost of production down to oh, offer oh, oh. cheaper. And he is spending so much money. Yeah. He's got, they, they, he's got investors back him. Back he's, him. I don't think he's running it as much as people think. He's got a lot of brilliant business people helping him out. Okay. Um, he's he's an engineer like myself. Um, I hate to compare him to me because I, <laughs> I, I think he might be doing a little better than I am. But <laughs> what I've learned with with growing this business and such is business is a totally different field than engineering. For him to be doing what he's doing, I think he's got to have a lot of people helping him out. He's okay. the face. Uh, that's he's the face of that's my of that's Tesla. my thought on it. Yeah, I mean not not to uh, discredit him. I mean, he's brilliant. I mean, just every everything you know from this old stuff from PayPal down to ludicrous mode. Right. And if you're watching Elon, if you want to come on here, we'll totally interview you too. Yeah. Here in Orange County. Well, I'd love to have you here. You would love to see what we can do on <laughs> Priuses. <laughs> <laughs> the, the future of this industry. Um, do you think it's going to be hybrid, gas and electric, or strictly 100% electric? Uh, I think it's going to, the main transition is going to be to hybrid because you're always going to have vehicles that are going to need to go long distance. Okay. It's going to be a while before we have the infrastructure set up to charge these vehicles in rapid time. Uh, electric vehicle, I think, is the ultimate goal, but if, you know, if I had to guess, and, you know, I'm not an economist, I'm an engineer and a mechanic, I would say it's going to be 30 years before everything's 100% electric. You know, wow. I'd say at least 30. But I think the hybrids are a huge help. I think especially the, the Volt. The Volt, you get the best of both worlds. Average commute for someone in California is 32 miles a day. Volt gets 40 miles. So you plug in every day. You, get, you drive around in pure electricity. But you want to go on that long road trip, just fill up with gas. That's where I think the main transition is going to be. Do you think somebody buying a Tesla or any of these cars, do you think they should upgrade their charging system at their house? Because I've seen guys that are trying to charge it off, what, 120? And obviously you can upgrade them to push more energy into the batteries quicker overnight. If someone's gonna strictly go to an all electric vehicle, should they upgrade their charging system in their house? There's a lot of contingencies and it's dependent upon the dynamics of that person's commute. Me personally, I've got a Tesla with roughly 190 mile range, 200 mile, um, and every day, I mean, my charge finishes in an hour when I get home. Um, you know, I, I got home real late the other other night, uh, maybe like three in the morning with 20%. I woke up, you know, at the normal time, like seven, and it was almost full. So, and that's just off of 120. No, that one's a 40 amp, 220. But off of 120, you get about uh, four miles an hour on average. How does that work? How, I, I've heard that term before. How, how do you break that down? Think, think about it this way. If you have a vehicle with a 100 mile range, you're down to 60 miles range, so you need 40 miles. Charge at four miles per hour, 10 hours to get to full. That's on the slowest charge. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's very easy to bump up your power. Uh, to have my electrical, run my panels on the very opposite side of my house so to have the electricity run from one side to the other hook up the tesla charger i think it cost four hundred dollars something like that i didn't do it myself i paid a contractor to do it 
so it's not too expensive. Did you see a big spike in your electric bill? Yes, I want to say 80% less than my fuel bill. So if I was spending $100 a month on gasoline, and now I'm spending 80 in electricity. So it kind of balances out. Yeah, there's there's no savings anymore buying an electric car. The only way, yeah. <laughs> really? Really, that's a so huge So what is it? Is it a status symbol? 